Hi, it's Forrest Carr, the Bashful Bloviator, as heard on Tucson's 1210 Power Talk Radio. We talk about all kinds of things on Power Talk 1210 Radio, some of them serious, some of them not so much. This kind of falls into the category of not so much. This is a story about a common house cat who likes zombie movies. I swear to you, I'm not making this up. His name is Ellis, and here is a picture of him, the way he approaches most things on television and, and uh, in the movies. Uh, when something's playing on the TV, he's normally not paying any attention. He's catching Z's and really could care less. But one night, I had custody of Ellis because we were in the process of moving from Albuquerque to Tucson. So I had Ellis all to myself. And I noticed as I was watching one of my zombie movies that um, he was interested. He was sitting right up on the armchair of the couch looking at the television and stayed there. Now, normally, you know, cats have a very uh, small attention span. They're kind of like politicians. They, they'll, they'll check something out, they'll move on, they'll forget about it. Uh, he stayed there. He stayed glued to it. And it just he kept watching. As the movie went on, he kept watching and uh, uh, just couldn't really tear him away from it. And if something were to happen on the screen, like a close-up of a bird or a bug, he would get really interested. He would go up and see what, if he could find out. Anything crawling along the ground, he really liked that. Um, now, I've had cats display momentary interest in television before. Here's a shot of our cat Artemis from several years ago. He found Nemo and had a momentary uh, fascination with that particular character. That lasted like five minutes and then he never watched television again as far as I could ever tell. Ellis kept watching. And so a couple of nights later I put on a different zombie movie and there he is right there on the couch watching it. You could not tear him away from it. He just kept watching it. Didn't look down, didn't look away. Was His eyes were glued onto the screen. Anytime, now he might put his head down, but his eyes were still on the screen. Anytime a character would, would do something that had some action involved, he would look up and get more involved and more interested. Like if a character were to wave a gun or something or do something action oriented, he would get more intent. Uh, but he, he kept his eyes on the screen throughout. And, uh, and as always, if a bird or a bug were on screen, he would get really interested in that and sometimes would get up and, uh, and actually want to participate with the bird or bug. Uh, didn't totally understand, I don't think, that it was not real. But even when there was no bird or bug, he was just watching the TV. Now, Deborah comes home for a visit as we're in this moving process, and she grabs the cat and tries to love him up. And he's interested in the zombie movie that I had on. He's not, you know, normally he's very affectionate, but not on this occasion. He wants to see the zombie movie. The screen here, the television screen, is off to the left side of the photograph, out of the photograph. So he's watching the TV. Now, I swear to you this is all true. Uh, Ellis to this day continues to like zombie movies. Now we've since moved to a little bit bigger place so I can no longer get a shot of the television next to the couch and Ellis is further away. But trust me when I tell you that he still does like zombie movies but not any other kind of movie. Don't ask me why. I also realize that in the shots I showed you you don't actually see zombies eating people. That's just a function of the fact that when I would grab my camera and get the shot framed up the zombie scene had gone away. But trust me when I tell you those were all zombie movies. And of course here I have a little sort of a dramatic recreation, uh, recreation of that. So you never know what might pop up on the Forest Car Show. We talk politics, we talk light stuff. Uh, please join us if you can. It's on, If you're in Tucson, it's on Tucson's Power Talk 1210 radio. We do stream on the internet and um, just look us up to a Power Talk 1210. My show airs from 10 o'clock to noon Mountain Standard Time, which this time of year corresponds to Pacific Daylight Time. So Please uh, join us and watch my blog, The Bashful Bloviator. Just look up those words on Bing or Google, Bashful Bloviator. It'll take you right to it. I'm going to start posting video in addition to the, uh, the text postings that I've been doing.